family is mourning the loss of a loved one after two men were found shot and killed in the St. Dennis neighborhood. WLKY's Jamie May spoke to the granddaughter of one of the victims who knows all too well about the trauma of losing loved ones to gun violence. I literally felt like something was taken from me deeper than what I've ever known because I've lost so many before. Heartache is what Jalen Reed says she's left with after her 69-year-old grandfather, Edward McLean, was found dead in this apartment. My reaction was instantly like tears. I literally, I've never in my life cried where I had, um, where it followed a grunt, uh, crying out like with noise attached to it. Um wow. This is Remember what I told you about Louisville once before? Yeah, you sure did. This is goddamn heavy on the dike side. On Sunday morning, police were called to Broadleaf Drive just west of Cane Run Road. When they got to the scene, they found two men shot and killed. Which is also like hard as well um, to know that not only was my grandfather killed, but another man also lost his life. And we don't know why it is that either one of them have been murdered because they both are elderly men. Reed says the pain of robbery, right? What you think? Yeah, I think more than likely because you got a lot of old dudes like that that that, that like to pay for pay for play. If you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of these dudes get caught up in uh, getting jacked and killed behind thinking that they finna pay for play. This is, I mean, listen, man. <laughs> listen, man. The elderly, man, there needs to be like a, a national warning put out. Like, if about, uh, elderly people are not safe around some people, man. Some people are being, some people are hell on the elderly, man. And it's, it's, it's epidemic now, man. I mean, we, we do these stories. We're starting to do these stories so, too much, man. I mean, why are sun people, sun teens, or young sun men so, well, I know why, because they're predators. And when you're a predator, you um, are looking for the easiest target, the softest target, um, the most vulnerable people. So that's why. But still like something needs to be done about it losing a loved one is all too familiar my grandfather got killed over here but my daddy also um got murdered across the street reed's father jesus christ <laughs> jesus christ man these people live these people live dreadful lives in the greatest country in the fucking world what's up brown sugar Hey. What's happening, man? How you doing, man? I'm doing good. What, what, what's up with all these? What's up with all this? These every time we see a sister on here now lately, like everybody in her family's been killed. Like death. She's she's losing people left and right. Like the lady in Chicago the other day, both her sons were killed. Um in, in the same incident, and she and she told it. She told the reporter that her, her um, nephew and I think her nephew, I mean her uncle and her father were also murdered. I don't know. I was blessed. Uh, my family's so blessed. Uh, we don't deal with death in, in the type of way. Murder. Yeah, by the grace of God. Nope. Yeah, man, that's it's just it's just insane, man. And she talks so casually about it, but I know that you know, I know she's feeling it, man. It's just golly, man. Um, yeah, people were asking about you, Brown Sugar. They were like, "Where's Brown Sugar, man?" Yeah, uh, I saw you one on YouTube, and I like, I'm sure he on rubber. I was busy too, so I just got time to come out today. Oh, okay, everything okay. Everything good. All righty, man. He says the pain of losing a loved one is all too familiar. My grandfather got killed over here, but my daddy also um, got murdered across the street. Reed's father was killed in 2007. Just months before that, her mother was murdered too. She's also... Jesus Christ. 
Yeah, that's too much. She need to leave. Louisville people don't leave. They do not leave. They you know leave. what? I stopped through Louisville uh, on my way to New York. And I kid you not, some man, I, I think he was trying to carjack me. And I How told, because you know? he had a mask on and he was coming towards me. And the only reason he, he didn't uh, do anything is because he seen my husband. Oh. And my husband was leaning back when he sat up. He kind of like, I guess he kind of like changed his mind because he didn't know what, you know, but he thought yeah. I was by myself. Oh, your and husband I, one of them son men that the sit with the seat all the way back? Uh-huh. Oh, you got you a real son man. It was hot out there, so, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, I ain't, Boy, going, I ain't going through there no more. I said, uh-uh. This like Memphis. Oh, God. It's like Memphis. Is that true, Stunner? Yes, it is Kentucky's Memphis. Jesus. I think our people look more nicer. What? I would agree. I think people in Louisville have a little bit more of a chip on their shoulder than people in Memphis. Yeah, the men in Louisville, I went to the wine, uh, to get some wine. They're a little more aggressive. Like, I kept telling them I was married. And they didn't care. And I was, I don't know. That was like. They enjoy you, being disrespectful. They're like, you're so fine. You're pretty. And I'm like, I'm married. And? Like, it's so disrespectful. Yeah. They don't care about that. To know that not only was my grandfather killed, but another man also lost his life. And we don't know why it is that either one of them have been murdered because they both are elderly men. Reek says the pain of losing a loved one is all too familiar. My grandfather got killed over here, but my daddy also um, got murdered across the street. Reek's father was killed in 2007. Just months before that, her mother was murdered too. She's also had cousins who were victims of homicides. It kind of shows the ugliness of a world in which you are, that you are in, that you are living in day to day. And it makes you think about every person that you have. Is it the world or is it just, you know, a, a certain sunny part of the world? Yeah, it's, it's the sunny it's, part. Yeah, it's the sunny part. Yeah, because I don't think everybody's going through all of that in the greatest country in the world. Now, there may be fucking war-torn regions and, you know, fucking, like, I'm sure there's some people in Ukraine who who, who experienced this over the last couple of months. Sure, there's some people in like Sierra Leone and goddamn places like Congo. Um, yeah, but like, I don't think that this is common for the United States of America or England or Switzerland, Norway, places like that, um, Western world, other than some people. This woman confused too. Yeah, she she she's she, a, she she's messed a, up. Her mind messed up. Yeah, yeah, she's she, she she's going through it, man. And her 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 she needed her barber, man. Like I ain't trying to be funny at this time like that, but her barber man. around you is it really brings about a, a paranoia of living life more so than an enjoyment of living life as it should be. But Reed uses that pain to fuel her desire to bring about good in the world by sharing the impacts of gun violence. Says family members. Um, are left behind now with just memories of a person that they should be able to continuously make memories with. Hoping her story will bring about change and the violence will end. Jamie Mace, WLKY News. Jesus Christ, what a 